and welcome to the Marist Minute. Alongside Nick Sherito, I'm Nicole Vodder filling in for William Rosen today. Nick, why don't you kick things off with women's lacrosse for us? Yes, Marist traveled to Lawrenceville playing Ryder and they're looking to go 3-0 in MAC play. With 12.30 left in the game, Marist down two. Kylie Garcia takes it herself and scores the goal. This would end a Marist 2-0 run. Bronx up three. And just three minutes later, Bronx now up four. Garcia in the free position. She scores her sixth goal of the game for the double hat trick. To go along with her sixth goal, she has 10 points. This would help the Bronx go on a 5-0 run as Marist lost 19-15. The women's tennis team took on Seton Hall in a windy affair over the weekend. During the first doubles match of the day, sophomore Colby Clement soared and freshman Devin DeSantis fought hard for the Red Foxes but ultimately lost the tiebreaker set to the Pirates. Seton Hall would go on to win the other two double matches as well. Clement Sword and junior Ellen Zurich would both bounce back from the doubles, winning their single matches, but it wasn't enough as the Seton Hall Pirates would go on to win the day by a score of 5-2. Now going back to women's lacrosse, they're taking on Niagara looking to bounce back from a loss against Fairfield. Now Marist down big in the fourth, Olivia Arnston takes the ball from behind the net and scores her first goal of the game. She was the leading scorer with the Foxes with two. Niagara looking to close the door, Andra Savage buries her fifth goal of the game, tying a career high. Marist falls to two and three in MAC play. Men's lacrosse faced off against the Manhattan Jaspers as Jake DC and the Red Foxes are looking for a win after dropping two games. After falling behind 8-7 early in the fourth, Mayer scores three consecutive goals. A Joshua Barcasel goal gives the Red Foxes a two-point advantage. The Jaspers would go on to tie the game back at 10 late in the fourth. A Kelly Dupree going in for a goal. Manhattan would hold on to a win at 11-10 as Mayer dropped their third game in a row. That's all we have for you today. Alongside Nicole Vauder, I'm Nick Sherito. We hope to see you next time.